Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play that 12-bar blues riff. Um, for this lesson, we're going to be working in A major. So first of all, let's have a look at the 12-bar uh, blues structure, or chord structure in A major. So we should have four bars of A7, two bars of D7, two bars of A7, a bar of E7, a bar of D7, and finishing on two bars of A7. Okay, so let's have a look at them. Um, so this riff is actually going to go underneath that, that chord structure. Okay, so let's have a look at the first bar of the riff. So this starts with the second finger on that fifth fret of the sixth string. And try and space your fingers out one finger per fret here. Okay, so if your second finger's there, your first finger should be playing notes on the fourth fret. And your little finger should be playing notes on that seventh fret. Okay, so basically you don't want any unnecessary movement up and down the neck for this. Okay. Okay, so we play that note, that starting note, which is actually the A root note. So that note's A. Okay, then we go to the fifth string, fourth fret, with the first finger. And then little finger to the seventh fret on that fifth string. Okay, so those are your first three notes. Then your uh, first finger goes on to the fourth string, fourth fret. Okay, so you've got those four notes, and that's your first bar. Okay, and the second bar, the second finger goes to that fifth fret on the fourth string. And then you just climb down that pattern, first finger back on the fourth fret of the fourth string, little finger onto the seventh fret of the fifth string, and then first finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string. Okay, so those are two bars there. You got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then you just repeat all of that again to get your four bars of A. Okay. Okay, so now we're on the two bars of D. Okay, so what we do, we play the same riff but just move it to that fifth fret on the fifth string, so that's where your second finger should be. Okay, and you play the same kind of shape, but that's D, so you're starting on D now. So, so second finger on that fifth fret of the fifth string, first finger goes to the fourth fret on the fourth string, little finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string, yeah, first finger onto the uh, fourth fret of the third string. Then, because that's uh, your one bar of D, and your last bar of D, second finger goes to the fifth fret on the third, back to the fourth fret with the first finger on the third, and little finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string, and finish with the first finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. That's it. So let's just put that together. So we've got four bars of A. Two bars of D. Okay, and the next bit we go back to two bars of A. So second fingers back on that fifth fret of the sixth string. And then we just do that riff we did to start with. So first finger on the fourth, little finger on the seventh of the fifth. First finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. And second finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string. And climb back down, first finger on the fourth fret of the fourth. Little finger on the seventh fret of the fifth, and then finish on the first finger on the fourth fret of the fifth string. So those are those two bars of A7. So from the top, we've got four bars of A, two bars of D, and two bars of A. Okay, and now we've got a bar of E now. So that second finger now moves up to that seventh fret on the fifth string. And we just do, we need four notes here, so just one bar, four beats to the bar. So we've got that second finger on the seventh fret of the fifth string. Then first finger on the sixth fret of the fourth string. Little finger on the ninth fret of the fourth string. And then finish that bar with first finger on the sixth fret of the third string. So, so that will go over the E7 chord. And we've got a bar of D, so just move that second finger back down to that fifth fret on the uh, fifth string, which is the D, and then repeat that shape again. So the second finger on the fifth fret, first finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, little finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string, and first finger finishing on that fourth fret of the third string. Okay, so going from that E bit again, we've got into the D bit. And then the riff finishes with two bars on the A7. 
riff. So back to the uh, second finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string. Then first finger on the fourth fret of the fifth. Little finger on the seventh fret of the fifth. Then first finger on the fourth fret of the fourth. Second finger on the fifth fret of the fourth. And just come back down. First finger on the fourth fret of the fourth. Little finger on the seventh fret of the fifth. And finish with first finger on that fourth fret of the fifth string. Okay. So it's the same kind of shape, just moved around, like you know, so you're starting on the root notes of the chords. Okay, so let's play that through all the way from the top. So we've got four bars of A7. Well. Two bars of D. Two bars of A. And a bar of E. D. And two bars of A7. Okay, and that's your 12 bar blues riff. So yeah, have a work through that. Um, if you visit my site, www.phillewisguitar.com, uh, you can print um, the tab for this off so you can work with that. Um, if you click on the text below this video, it will take you straight to my site where you can print that off. Okay, so have a play around with those. Uh, remember what I said about that one finger per fret spacing as well. So you're always starting the root notes with that second finger, okay? And then space your fingers out one finger per fret from there okay so yeah have fun with that and i'll see you soon